Unlocking the Secrets of Gene Regulation in Fruit Flies Transcription A crucial step in how our genes express themselves involves three stages – initiation, elongation, and termination, each controlled by a specific set of proteins. While the importance of the starting stage, initiation, is well understood, the elongation phase is now seen as equally vital in controlling gene expression. The recent study led by Professor Bong-Yi Lim alongside colleagues Dr. Samuel Keller and Hao Dung from University of Pennsylvania explored how different regulatory DNAs and structural features of genes shape the rate at which RNA polymerase II travels on the gene in living fruit fly embryos. Employing innovative live imaging techniques, the researchers tracked and visualized newly made RNAs in living cells and precisely measured the pace at which RNA polymerase II moves along the gene body. The study found that promoter choice and exon length don't affect RNA polymerase II elongation rates, but enhancer strength does. Stronger enhancers lead to slower elongation due to increased mRNA production. Adding long non-coding sequences speeds up elongation, unlike shorter introns. Additionally, the team observed that RNA polymerase II elongation rate accelerates after the gene copying starts during a specific developmental stage in fruit fly embryos, revealed through advanced analysis. Professor Bomi Lim and colleagues have significantly advanced our understanding of the role played by RNA polymerase II in regulating genes. Their research, published in Cell Reports, is a notable leap in understanding how DNAs are transcribed into messenger RNA. This study not only deepens our understanding of RNA polymerase II behavior during transcription, but also paves the way for future research in gene regulation, offering valuable insights for a wide range of biological studies.